Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how you can get an infinite amount of maps in Red Dead Online. This can be used to get unlimited gold and money and has become the new trend of how you can get rich in Red Dead Online uh, and because of the way that the game is developed this is not likely going to get patched so take advantage of it as soon as you possibly can so you can do it as long as possible. However, before we start the video, I'd really appreciate it if you were to hit the like button on this video as it would really help push my videos out to a larger audience and shows me what sort of content that you guys are enjoying. And on the same note, if you enjoy my videos and want to see more from me, then make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and that bell button next to it to be notified whenever I upload. I not only do tutorials on Red Dead Online, but on other games such as Minecraft and League of Legends as well. So make sure you check those videos out after you have watched this one. So to start off this strategy, first what you're going to want to do is fast travel to Rhodes and go to the Blood Money location that is directly east from it. Uh, and while you do that, you're going to want to put a red marker on the locations that I'm going to be showing to you on the video now. After you've done that, you're going to go inside and speak to Anthony Foreman. And after he has finished speaking to you, you're going to want to click on the stagecoach pickup, which is also the first option, I believe. It's going to take a little while, but once you finally load into the game, you're going to want to go towards the lake uh, and hug it on your left hand side. And at the same time, make your way up to those markers that you placed earlier on the map. At the same time, make sure you do not go to the mission because it will start uh, and then it will just cause a whole lot of problems. Basically, you're going to want to keep going to the markers. It normally takes around two minutes. And then once you get to the heartland, you're going to want to go to these five locations that you have put on your map. What you will be looking for is either a map that is posted on the wall with a knife, uh, and that's normally on a tree, or you'll find a random explorer telling you that they will sell your map, basically. In this clip that I'll show you, I've got the traveler, but the next step works in the same way regardless. Once you find either one of these encounters, you're going to do whatever step correlates with the encounter that you get. If you get the map on the tree, uh, walk up to it and click pick up. And while your character does this and is uh, and he is picking it up, uh, you're going to want to click on your PlayStation button or your Xbox button and get ready to close the application. And once you see on the right hand side of your screen that the treasure map shows up in your inventory, then close the game. If you end up getting a traveller instead, then just shoot them once the map is in their hands, walk over their map, and once again, when you see it come up on the right-hand side of the map, then make sure that you exit your game, close the application as you just did before. So, as you saw in the video, I got the Cumberland Forest West map, uh, and then I closed the app straight away. I will show you later in the video uh, that I definitely did get this, just to prove it. Uh, but basically from that point, all you're going to need to do is reopen your game and go into Red Den online again as normal. And then in doing this, uh, then you basically get unlimited treasure maps in the game. So before I keep rambling on too much, guys, that is the end of the video. Like I said earlier on, if you guys did enjoy this video and you found it useful, please click the like button down below as it would really help me out. And click the subscribe button below as well if you want to see more videos from me. And also, if uh, you need a little bit more information uh, or you didn't quite understand one of the steps that I said, please put it in the comments below and I'll make sure to respond to every single comment that I get. But anyway, guys, that has been me and I will see you in another video soon. Goodbye, everyone.